my footy friends of the interwebs. Um, I'm gonna do something that I said I'd never, ever, ever do. And that is get a chili dog from 7-Eleven. <laughs> the big, the big bite. Um, now, they had two different sizes. Uh, they had this, the regular size hot dog, which is what I ended up getting, and then they had kind of a jumbo dog. But most of my chili dogs are the regular size dogs, other than sometimes they do a foot long. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get the regular dog just because I want to be able to compare. But they do get the same box. Now, <laughs> the reason I said I'd never do a chili dog from a place like this, uh, 7-Eleven, is because I'm a chili fan. I'm a chili dog fan. I love chili dogs. And the idea of getting the squirty kind of chili out of those like self-serve chili things, No. <laughs> now, having said that, I'm going into this with an open mind. I swear to you. Uh, if it's good, I will tell you. Uh, they're not very expensive dogs. I think it's like a buck fifty uh, for this dog, which somewhere around in there, buck fifty, buck sixty for this dog. For that kind of money, you can't really, you know, what can you say? Yeah. So I'm going to give it a fair review. Um, I did put some cheese on this bad boy. So it's a chili cheese. Now, I did not see anything that resembled onions. Maybe I just didn't see them. This 7-Eleven's very cramped. Who knows? But there are no onions on this, which chili dogs should have some onions. That's all I'm saying. So 7-Eleven, if you don't. Now, I think this thing rolled on me. It did. It rolled on me. So it's going to be a bit of a mess. Um, it's not as presentable as it probably should be, and the cheese sauce is all on the side. Yeah, there we go. It rolled on me. It's a big, it's a big container. Um, but you know what? all going in the same place so here we go let me get a thumbnail real quick though i don't know if i'll use this as the thumbnail but yes the chili see how that made a mess in there yes 7-eleven chili dog you know i love my dogs i'm kind of scared i'm a scared here we go The little self-serve squirty chili thing said that it was improved, new and improved, more spicy. I don't really feel the spicy myself. Okay. a good show. Try to wipe up some of this cheese. Some, some of this cheese. I didn't get crazy putting the cheese on. Oh. I'm going to kill this bad boy. Might as well. Tell you what, never in a million years would I have ever thought that I would say this. I've had worse. <laughs> I've had worse. I'll tell you what, for a buck fifty something, I gotta be honest with you. It wasn't bad. Now, oh, is it a great chili dog? No. It's a great chili dog for a buck and a half. <laughs> um, the, the dog flavor was decent. The chili dog sauce, it said it was new and improved and spicier. I don't know what the old stuff tasted like. I didn't think this was overly spicy, in all honesty. But, man, I gotta tell you, it wasn't a bad dog. It was a little spicy, just a little. I almost want to go in and get another one. <laughs> I almost want to, hey, Ed, let me get my let me get my green tea. I won't though, because I've been on a feast in the last hour. <laughs> I've been making foodie videos. Um, 
I tell you what, honestly, it's a good dog. It's a good dog. It's a really good dog for a buck and a half. It just is. I'm shocked that I'm even saying that. 7-Eleven. Now I gotta go try Speedways. <laughs> anyway, my guess is all these places probably get their chili sauce from this. Because it's, you know the machine I'm talking about? You got chili on one side, cheese on the other, you push the button, you know, you got your dog in there. Vroom. I know. I, I, I'm, I'm baffled myself by the whole thing, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible. I don't know what it's going to do to my digestion. I can only imagine. But, um, man, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the 7-Eleven Chili Dog is actually pretty freaking good for the money. Now, I still like, I still like Chili Dogs Made With Love. I still like the, the, um, the care and the and the uh, uh, experimentation that goes into the homemade. Oop, I'm starting to burp a little bit. It might be a sign of things to come. <laughs> it might be a sign of things to come. Um, don't be scared. I was scared. I'm not going to lie to you. I was scared it was going to taste like garbage, and it didn't. It tasted pretty good. Um, maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'll go to Speedway and check theirs out, but 7-Eleven's Chili Dogs, to be honest with you, for a buck and a half, hook yourself up. Maybe that should be my newest outro if it's good. Hook yourself up. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate you sharing my videos because it does make a huge difference. Share with your friends. Put it on your Facebook. You know, put it on your, you know, send it out to the Twitterverse. Um... It does make a big difference to me. If you want to, if you want to go over to my Patreon, support me over there. I might start a new Patreon just for foodie stuff because I know a lot of you who who come here to my food videos aren't really interested in my photography and filmmaking videos. Your stuff, you're not really interested in seeing the nude chicks. <laughs> you're just not, and I get that, and that's totally cool with me. Um, but anyway, listen, yeah, hook yourself up, peace.